Hello, welcome to Nathan Olson Flash Tutorials. I am Nathan Olson, and this is my tutorial. Okay, uh, this is on how to make an an advanced Adobe Flash website. And uh, first, we need a background for this. Now, I know where to get the best background you could ever imagine. It's one place that every computer has. Tada! 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 This or your wallpaper. Okay, so if you have paint, if, okay, if you have paint, then this works good. But if you don't have paint, then I'll show you how to do it with paint. Um, for paint, all you have to do is point to F12, move your finger to the side until you get to the first button on the top of your keyboard. Hit that button should say capital P R T capital S C N and a bunch of stuff under it but it's not too much stuff and uh, so do it in, to do it in paint when you take the snapshot click paste then take the selection tool then select part of it crop it save as ping and uh, then when you got it, you go into your library, and uh, that opened. Okay, so you, and then you go to wherever it is, and you get it. And then what you got, wherever it is, make sure you open it in Flash, or you can just hit import. It's kind of confusing so I'm just going to show you in here. I'm going to hit paste and check it out. So then uh, go to the selection or like Q then uh, select part of it like this. So I'll just start from the outside and then go oh yeah first um, right click and click break apart then do it. Sorry. Then, uh, once you got that, move it to the side, then click the rest, and then control X, and then deletes it. And then you, what do you know, it's almost the same size. And, uh, so then you scale it <laughs> until it's fitting. And, uh, so, I wonder if this break apart ever wears off. Okay. I believe that should be good. Then, this is going to be Action Script 2.0. So this is there's a video I've been watching that uh, shows you how to make a professional flash website, but and uh, showed me how to do these codes for it and stuff. So I'm going to go into it and uh, get the code. But first, um, before we okay, we did this at the wrong time. So I'm gonna, I need how many layers again? Okay, this is the exact wrong video. Uh, here it is, and uh, showed me a code. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is the code. It shows you how to put the code in and what the code is. So, um, we need another layer or two. This one's going to be background. This one is going to be objects. This one is going to be pages. Now, this is exposed to be sooner, so I'm going to hit F7 after it. 
then right click and reverse frames so now my frames are reversed and uh, so then objects you type in in any color you want I'm gonna do green make sure it's big like a 30 or something this is gonna be like a preloader so uh, when this is loading this is what's gonna come up so um, you can watch it in another video um, for like doing how the percent it like doing the percentage but I think that's in the components I do not know if it is but I think here uh, I, yeah loader right here but I oh this is the load S W F and ping files so we're not using that we're just not using it okay so link flash continent da, 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 da. now I'm gonna go and get that code okay I'm gonna go and get that code so I'm gonna pause the video if you do nine and I'm gonna go get the code okay so now for this I got the code in and uh... it was in actions actually so okay so I'm going to put this in uh... in the description I'll put this code in the description but uh... back here it says uh... it says um... amount th um... it says this this means the amount is times the box width so what i want to do is click on my box and you can see that the width the width is three hundred seventy two point thirty I'm just gonna make this 372. So that's just a normal 372 now. And uh, so in box width, we're gonna put, we're gonna delete box width and enter 372 or what your box width is. And uh, in here, delete that make some quotation marks two of them and uh, I'll get back to that later so now we're gonna click on so now you gotta so now that we got later um, I kinda messed with it down here so it should be three layers actions objects and home on home there should be a blank one and one with this on it on objects there should only be that and on actions there should be a blank one with the A in it for actions and uh, so we're gonna click on this on the, the frame of our homeware then we're gonna go to label name type in home then right in the quotation marks here we're gonna type home. Now I still gotta make some buttons, and I forgot completely about that tutorial, and I lost my memory. So I'll be right back again. Okay, uh, I watched part of the tor tutorial, and now I get most of it. So now we want to make buttons for each of our pages. So we're going to go to the text tool, make sure it's static text, and, uh, and, um, uh, I'm gonna,
just uh, type in some buttons and I'm gonna type in uh, remember you can make the design on the pages all you want I'm just gonna make these little shapes on it cuz I don't wanna type in everything so this is on bit map right now so I'm gonna just just type in uh, home I'm gonna type in home type in about type in uh... contact so now to get these all aligned I'm going to click on my first one and on the X no um, on the X and Y I think you change you can change this so yeah it kind of moves it around I think or is it X and Y three Uh, okay, I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna try to line it up the best I can. So just show, so just try to line it up the best you can. They'll have to be perfect, but it makes it look more professional with perfect. So here. <laughs> Um, I don't remember how to do that position and size thing. Oh yeah, it's X and Y, so for this one, oh no. So for the width, it Oh yeah. So No, I'm sorry. It's X and Y. So for this it's 3. So I want to make this one 3. The I want to be it spaced. So Okay, I'm seriously don't know how to do this. But that should be at a three. And then I'll just move it to the side. Yeah, like that. And uh so now I wanna make two more pages. This one's going to be about this one's going to be Contact. Contact. And uh, F seven, F seven. Sorry. So. Okay. So. It's a problem with me doing that because it copies the label along with this. Uh, for the label on this one, I'm going to change it to about. On the label of this one, I'm going to change it to contact. And so now we want to put actions on each of these. So, I want to put a stop action code on each of these. So, on this frame, hit F9 and type in stop. Now I'm going to copy F9, paste, F9, paste. Okay, now I got all of our stop scripts in. So now, um, now we wanna make each button 
its own like its own symbol so for each button I'm gonna hit F8 call it home F8 about uh F8 contact and it's the wrong thing for all of them they have to be a dumb button button properties okay so I forgot to put these up to a button because I wasn't paying attention and um, uh, I'm making up a button properties so I'm making them all a button now uh, I hit uh, actually on these frames just delete those texts we made and uh, on the first frame hit F9 and type in on release then this spacebar then that spacebar go to and play Parentheses. Now, since is it, since that is home, since that's a home button, we want to type in home. Then I'm going to copy the code, click on about, hit F9, and paste it in about. Now, instead of home you want it to be about uh... then I'll hit F9 and uh... so then uh... paste it and instead of home type in con And, uh, so, I am going to stop here for part one, and I'm going to do part two for the next. So, uh, first, before I stop to go to part two, I'm going to select all of these, hit control C, go into this, control shift V, this, control shift V. The reason I deleted all those buttons now is because since we did it in home already, the code is already typed in. So when we test it, it should work. And, uh, but we can't really tell because without anything between it. And for the rest of the things we should do for this, I am not going to make them at the moment because it's late at, it's late and uh, I want to get to bed soon and read so I'm gonna stop here for part one and we're gonna continue on to part and I'll make part two and don't worry I make these tutorials often so this tutorial should be coming back in the next day 
so bye.